If you clicked in this video, I probably blew up your inbox or you're looking to take your photos and your videos to the next level. Either way, prepare to upgrade your game. Hello, hello, and welcome back. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Ron Wallace and I'll be your stand-up guy. On this channel, you can expect to find informative content, product reviews, and lots and lots of entertainment. So, are you ready to shoot content like some of the top influencers on social media? Perhaps you want cinematic shots like Casey Neistat. Or stunning photos like Gigi. Well, not exactly the Gigi I was going for, but still an amazing shot. Both of which I took on Viltrox's 23mm 1.4 lens. And now, without further ado, I present to you the Viltrox 23mm 1.4 Sony E mount lens. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to state that I personally went out and purchased a Viltrox lens myself, and this is not a paid promotion. This is an authentic stand up guy review. So right out of the gate, Viltrox is trying to impress with a pretty sturdy box. Opening the box, you find a few warranty and instruction cards. And something that I thought was pretty cute, honestly, was this suede-like carrying bag for your lens that I probably won't ever use, but the thought was nice. If I didn't know the price, I would honestly think that this is a pretty expensive lens. And for those of you who really like gold, I love gold. You'll really appreciate the big gold letters that says autofocus 23 millimeter 1.4, right smack dab on the lens. I actually found it a bit unnecessary and a bit of reach. I'm not a big fan of gold, but who am I to judge? It definitely does beat writing it on a label with the Sharpie. To the side of that, you'll find a red box with the letter C. I kind of feel like it's a play off of Sony's G Master series, with the letter G normally being in a red box. I'm not quite sure what the C stands for though, but I'm going to leave that right there. Come on, son. Below that, you'll find the aperture ring, which is probably the time where Things get a little bit complex if you're just using this to shoot for social media. For those of you who are looking to post on social media, you'll be fine by just switching that into auto. So the aperture ring is actually pretty smooth and it does actually mimic somewhat sort of a professional quality aperture ring. The only thing I would have liked to see is somewhat of a clicking function when you're going in between the aperture ring so that you know that it's set and it won't change during shooting. That was actually one of the things that I found that kept happening. There is a bit of a clicking motion when you go from 16 millimeter to auto. I just wish that that same clicking motion was incorporated throughout in all the levels of apertures. While I actually recommend learning how to use the aperture ring, for the sake of social media, I won't go into details. But if you'd like, I can create another video going into a little bit more detail. You know the routine, let me know below. Moving down to the back of the lens, you'll find a USB port to update the firmware. I mean, I have never really updated the firmware, but I'm actually looking forward to doing so with these lens because that's an option. Overall, I really like the build look and quality of the lens, especially when it's under A6400. The semi-gloss finish really matches with the A6400's body and really provides that high quality professional look. I've actually been hearing a lot of people compare it to the Sigma 30mm f1.4 lens. It kind of does have a similar shape and build, but I feel like this one is a bit slimmer. 
All in all, you can definitely expect to turn some heads with this. You know what? I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. No I'm just going to show it to you. Insert Biro now. Last night was a movie. Elevator doors get right. Rio. And the best part is, if you're using a Sony camera, you can send your footage right to the mobile device. This allows you to upload and edit your images and videos instantly to your mobile device using Sony's imaging app so that you can get your images to social media even faster. And now for the pros. Here are my top five pros for my review of the Viltrox lens. One, this is a pretty high performing lens. I didn't know what to expect in the beginning, but believe me, I wasn't disappointed. The autofocus was pretty responsive and the photos were really, really sharp. Two, the price. At the time of me filming this video, you can purchase this lens on Amazon for $279.99. If you have Amazon Prime, you'll get the lens in about two days and believe me, you will not be disappointed. The only other lens that come close to this price range probably has to be the Sigma 30 millimeter lens. But if you're looking to go all the way and spend a lot of money, you might as well get the Sony 24 millimeter lens, which will run you about a thousand bucks if you have that to spare. Three, the low light quality is pretty amazing. Check out this photo I shot in a dark room with the only light source coming from a projector and television. Four, this is a pretty lightweight lens coming in at about 260 grams, which for those of who who don't use gram measurements. A cool trick I learned in elementary school was to think about a gram as equivalent to a raisin. Put 260 raisins in your hand and you'll get the weight of these lens. I hope I got that right because I'm not really a math buff, but I passed. And five, look at the build quality. With this aluminum exterior, you get the feeling that you're purchasing a very high quality product. Good job, Bill Trucks. And now, for the cons. With every good, there's bad. This lens does have pretty amazing autofocusing features, and it is a STM lens. This simply means the motor is quieter and has a smoother autofocus. But there is a slight motor noise, and you hear it when you're videoing. It's not enough to turn you away from videoing and especially if you're like me and you, you don't record directly into the camera, you actually use an external recorder, then this is not too much of a big deal. And honestly, the noise is pretty faint and doesn't really interfere with your footage too much. There's always the option of editing it out in post. Two, if you open the aperture to its widest 1.4 setting, you'll definitely get a little bit of vignetting in your photos and your video. But the good thing is, a little bit of vignetting looks really good and adds a nice element to your portrait shots. And if you don't like it, most editing softwares allows you to get rid of that with the click of a button. Three is something we call chromatic aberration, and that's where the lens actually has a bit of trouble focusing on all of the colors and you get like a red and blue kind of border around certain objects and, and shapes. This happens with a lot of different lenses, and it's something that you can even experience with a very professional pro quality lens. Hopefully you don't experience that all the time, but I don't think it's something to deter you from buying the lens. All in all, if you're looking to step up your game on social media and you're looking to purchase your first or an additional prime lens, the Viltrox 23mm f1.4 lens is definitely a stand-up purchase. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you can be alerted to all of our new videos. My name is Ron Wallace and I am your stand-up guy. Until next time.